Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's Saturday morning and it's time to make some soap. So what I'm going to be doing today is a variation on what I did last week. Last week I did one of two Valentine's Day soaps. I did the chocolate and roses. So the bottom of course is the chocolate and the top represents the roses and the brown actually is cocoa powder. I'm going to be doing a variation today, chocolate and lavender. Very similar. So the bottom will be cocoa powder, the chocolate, and I don't have anything really to make a lavender, so I'm just going to use Nurture Soap's uh, Purple Vibrance and just, just on site, just as I'm doing it, with titanium dioxide. So I have a lot of titanium dioxide mixed up. So I'm going to go ahead right now and get everything mixed up and pour it off and get the bottom in, which will be the chocolate. I'm going to scent this with Brambleberries white tea and ginger. I so desperately wanted to scent this with lavender essential oil, which I have. I don't have enough, unfortunately. Now, the white tea and ginger does have sort of a spicy ginger smell like you would expect, but when it cures, it has a floral scent, which Brambleberry listed as a floral scent. Okay, before I get started, I want to give a big shout out to a talented soaper. I bet everybody here knows her. In case you don't, I'll try to remember to leave a link to her page below, Ellen Ruth Soaps. This was inspired by her. This isn't her soap. This isn't her design. She did something similar, though, and it gave me the idea. And hers was with the buttermilk, and it was gorgeous. I couldn't even come close to hers. But Ellen Ruth from Ellen Ruth Soap, thank you for the inspiration I and for the idea. I really appreciate it. Enough talk. Let's get busy. So we're going to pour our lye water into our oils. Everything is about 90 degrees, which is a good temperature for this. That'll give me a little, that's a little cool for me. It's warm for some. It's giving me maybe just a little extra time to work. And I just want a barely emulsified soap. Maybe even slightly under is okay because I'm going to hit it some with the stick blender when I'm done. That is good to start. Maybe, maybe that's it. That's it. Cause I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Some more. Okay. So for my first cup here, I want approximately ten ounces, and doesn't have to be on the numbers. Close is definitely good enough. So, approximately 10 ounces. Uh, 10.7, whatever, good enough. So I will set it out of the way. Give me some more room. I'm going to just sit that one aside for now. For the rest, I'm going to do about a third, a third, a third. You know, looking at that, that's not enough anyway. I should have just eyeballed it. I'm just eyeballing. Finished with this, so I'll scrape it out. huge mess in the process. Let's 
Some of the YouTube soapers are just so meticulously clean when you soap. I'm kind of in this. I cannot soap without making a huge mess. But that's what napkins and paper towels are for. And for my countertop that's impervious to lie. Okay, so the first one is going to be the brown. want this to set up pretty firm so I'll be able to pour the next on top of it and it'll be able to support it. So let me just mix that in a little bit first. Although I could have hit it with a stick blender because I'm going to have to stick with it anyway. Now I know that that does not look very dark. know from experience that when that gels it will darken up and be exactly what I want it to be. fragrance into it. Okay. And yes, I'm hitting it hard with the stick blue because I want to set up quickly to be able to pour and lay out flat, which it is, which we're going to do right now. And I'll clean that container out later. I'm just not going to worry about it right now. So, that's just a little bit jiggly still. So, what I'm going to do is just shut us down for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, I forgot to hit record, but all I did is put a little bit of lavender, of, of the purple in here, as well as white to get it to lavender. I put some TD into this. I'm going to hit them with the stick blender, fragrance, and pour. So yeah, sorry I missed a little bit of it, but what can I say? So, do my white first. into there. I did fragrance that I just about forgot. I'm really messing up today. I am just screwing up royally.
smooth consistency. I'll clean both of these up later, get them into another mold. This chocolate has definitely set up firm enough that it can take the weight of this, I believe. But chicken me is going to try it. Very nice. Tap this on the floor. Shut us down for just a minute while I mix up the soap frosting. Wait, did I say soap frosting? Yes, I did. I think I may possibly now have achieved a consistency that is good to pipe soap. This I am taking from Ellen Ruth. Ellen Ruth, I've seen others do it, but I saw you do it so beautifully. Instead of actual roses or types of flowers, just going to kind of make a spin like that. So I'm taking this from Ellen, as well as a few other soapers. I'm not sure what this pipe... And I did not estimate quite right on my amounts because I'm just too inexperienced at this still. Then, I have quite a good bit of green, but I messed my green up. I was going to use Nurture Soap's Green Vibrance because it is such a wonderful green and I put a wrong color in it anyway. What can I say? Just kind of plop. To kind of fill in the gaps.
you know what, that's probably good enough. Just squeeze the rest of this into the mold over here. Okay, well, now am I finished? No. Because, of course, it's Valentine's Day and so many soapers like to put some glitter on their soap, especially on your piped soap. This is Nurture Soap's Snowflake Sparkle. And because I don't want my pretty topped ash over, I'm going to give it a spritz of rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to put it to bed. So, not bad. Not as pretty as Ellen's, but got a good start. So Ellen Ruth from Ellen Ruth Soap, thank you. I appreciate it. See you next week, everybody. Bye. Okay, so we're back to cut the soap. I don't think this one gelled. It came out of the mold easily. Um, feels nice and firm, but cocoa powder for me always turns a dark brown when it goes through a gel, but we'll see. So it may have a light or cocoa on this soap, but um, no worries. You know, it is what it is. Okay. And... The inside, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, very nice. It's also a little soft on the inside. So I do not think we achieved gel with this one. This is the part I always hate when somebody puts a pretty top on their soap is cutting it. But here we go. Okay, yeah.
and since the other one will look the same, I will cut it off camera. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I do wish the chocolate had gotten darker. I don't see the shell for that exact reason. But, pretty successful piping. And uh, I will actually take my final picture and upload these a little bit later and see if that darkens some. So anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. See you later then. Bye.